finally a season. Uh, Rob Manfred has uh, implemented a season under the terms of the March 26th agreement uh, with two questions to the Players Association to hopefully be answered by five o'clock tomorrow night. Do you agree with the health and safety protocols? Are those cool by you? And can we start by July 1st? Can you get everybody to your spring training locations or your summer training, whatever you want to call it, to those new locations in time to start that by July 1st? We're looking at a 60-game season. The reason the 60-game season isn't scheduled yet or absolute definite yet is because MLB has felt some frustration that the union hasn't gotten back to them faster on health and safety uh, protocols and signed off. So as uh, I'm sure the union would have a different take on this uh, because they have their own frustrations with health and safety. But uh, until the union signs off on the health and safety stuff and sends it back, they can't, they cannot set right. a schedule. So if they don't, if, if MLB doesn't hear back by the end of business tomorrow, they'll be like, guys, we can't give you a schedule. And now you're going to lose games and your players if we go down from 60 to 58 because of that delay, your players are going to lose two more days pay or whatever it is. So this will be like totally set in stone once that happens. And it, it, it one would hope it happens tomorrow. I talked to a, a couple of players, one being a very prominent player um, who just basically told me that this wasn't in the best interest uh, of the players, you know, not to agree at least to something because now um, when it comes to the playoff share, if there's no fans in the stands, the players, as the CBA is written right now, oh, yeah. guarantees them nothing. They need a fan gate in order to get money. That's how the players get paid in the playoffs. So as of right now, unless there's some other agreement that goes on, which I don't know why the owners would agree to anything, um, they don't, they're not guaranteed anything if any of these guys make the playoffs. None of the players would make a dime in the playoffs. Now, I don't know if that's going to continue to be true, but as of we, as of the moment, as we speak, uh, as of that March 26th agreement, that CBA, because it, it reverts to the CBA for that, the players will receive nothing. As soon as that release was sent out, I took like a deep breath. I exhaled a little bit and I was like, you know what? Like, finally, in, in a month, we get to see Jacob DeGrom pitch again. You know, <laughs> like we're going to get to see this happen again. And I, I do wonder, I'm not saying that people are going to forget I'm not saying that this isn't going to, you know, drag on for another year and a half and, and have an uglier labor war at the end of next season. But for the moment, it's nice to finally be able to not talk about something negative and say, OK, we're going to get to watch mm -hmm. some baseball again in short order.